at the Boat Show 2024 here with Team Armstrong, with Kiel, International Marketing Manager. And first and foremost, of course, we're really curious. Armstrong is arriving in Europe. First time at the Boat Show. What's your impression? Oh, it's, it's awesome, man. It's, uh, my first impression is this place is massive <laughs> and there's yeah. like everything under the sun. Uh, I haven't even explored like 1% of it yet. But yeah, it's fantastic, super cool, and we're stoked to be here. How is the consumer receiving your products and the brand? Yeah, we're really stoked. We're really grateful to have uh, such a good turnout and have a lot of people coming by. I think it's a nice mix for us of you know, seeing uh, consumers who are, you know, the brand is new, uh, mm -hmm. for whom the brand is new, and then also people who are already riding Armstrong, who are stoked to see us here, and we're stoked to see them, and have a chance to get face-to-face. -face. Let's talk product. Introduce the latest and greatest. Hey, so we're going to chat a little bit about our foils. Um, so we have a few different ranges, uh, and what we'll do is we'll just start from our lower aspect towards our higher aspect, and then our pump specialty wing. So this is our CF range, uh, CF V2 range. Um, CF is for carving free ride. So this is our lower aspect foil. Um, this uh, comes from a 950 all the way up to a 2050 square centimeter. These foils are really terrific if you're just getting into foiling. Um, it's nice and stable. Uh, they have a really nice speed range, uh, really good low stall speed. User friendly, nice and chill foil to ride. Great for all different disciplines, whether you're winging, learning to prone, wake foiling, what have you. This is a really awesome foil range to get going on. And of course, it's carbon because it's Armstrong. Moving up here, we've got our MA mid aspect range, which we released last year. Um, this has been a really exciting foil to see get out into the world. This ranges from a 625 uh, on up to a 1,750 square centimeter uh, size range. These foils, if you're a winger that's intermediate on up in experience, this is the foil for you. Super quick, it's got a really great speed range, especially on the top end, it's super controllable. So if you're riding when it's super lit, especially the small sizes, it's a lot of fun. The bigger sizes as well, they have a nice bottom end. They're excellent for winging. Um, really cool thing about these foils is when the team developed the foil section, they wanted to really emphasize uh, the recovery from ventilation. So if your foil comes up out of the water, if you're edging up wind or if you're surfing and your foil comes out of the water, it recovers super quick, super smooth. It's a lot of fun. We just released the high aspect range. So for anyone who's familiar with Armstrong, we've had our HA, original HA range for the last couple years. The HA V2, the uh, concept with the new HA range here ranges from 580 all the way up to 1180 square centimeters. It's all about getting that stall speed down way low so it's super usable whether you're doing prone, uh, surf, uh, winging, anything where you know having a low stall speed is uh, very beneficial. Also really, really, really excellent glide on this super efficient section you can actually ride a smaller foil than you think with these. So, for example, I used to be on the HA1125 for downwinding, and I went down to the 980 and sometimes the 880. So check in uh, with you know your local retailer, anybody who's in your community riding Armstrong, and you can get some advice if you're considering the new HA range, what size to look at. Super fun. Now, working into our two specialty foils, we have the downwind performance range, which we also released last year. These foils are all about top end speed, specifically for downwind uh, X downwind uh, paddling foilers. Really, really rad section. We have a bunch of really cool reflex going on in the section here. Definitely a cool foil if you get a chance to get your hands on uh, to have a look at. A lot of fun. All about top end speed. And then here we have our APF, the Armstrong uh, pump foil. This is a dedicated pump, flat water pump foil. Uh, 1675 and uh, 1880. These foils, yeah, all about bringing that stall speed way, way, way down low, getting pumping and uh, going around. So these things are a lot of fun. What are we riding these foils on? So we've got to attach the foils to the board somehow. <laughs> and so we've got here our high modulus performance uh, mast range here. These are really awesome masts. They're all designed around efficiency of the section, super efficient through the water really really good stiffness and a really good weight uh, as well uh, for the stiffness and the efficiency that you get. These, uh, these masts are really awesome. They come together with our A-plus system fuselage that comes into these masts with our signature hex shape. Super super strong, uh, super nice setup, very durable and of course everything is modular and cross compatible. 
All right, so very cool. So we got the whole foil set up underneath, but I still need a platform to stand on. And let's talk about boards. This is our new Wing FG range. These are all about packing in the most amount of volume, the most amount of stability and flotation and usability into the smallest dimension possible. The point being, it feels like you're riding a smaller board than you actually are. So these boards, uh, the range is from 34 liters up to 135 liters. So there's something literally for like everyone all the way across. These are really dedicated wing boards. Uh, now, the Wing FG boards, uh, compared to our older wing boards, a little bit flatter on the deck. We have these really cool raised bumps on our new EVA uh, foam pad. Uh, what it does is it just gives you a nice point of reference for your feet in all four corners in the back and also in the front. So that's super nice. Now the core of all of our boards at Armstrong is actually the forward geometry, which comes with a double uh, carbon track. So forward geometry, the whole idea is your boxes are further forward in the board. So as you're progressing, when you're learning, you can have your mast further in the back here, and then you can slide it forward if you want to get more maneuverable as you uh, progress in your skill level. This was something we introduced several years ago, uh, early on, uh, and so this is our forward geometry arrangement. Now that combines with our double carbon track, we have these super, super strong boxes that actually go into this dual carbon stringer with PVC and Anegra. It makes these boards really strong and really durable. Uh, so these boards last for actually quite a long time uh, and they're really strong. Down foil, downwind foil, and of course Armstrong also in the sail making world with uh, their wings. So let's talk about wing real quick, Gail. Yeah, so let's talk about wings. Uh, so this is our A-Wing XPS. Uh, XPS standing for cross panel sail design. Just has to do with the way that the canopy uh, parts are stitched together. Um, Something to know about this wing is it's super stiff. The uh, the sail, the canopy itself uh, is is really stiff, so it actually is super responsive, um, and that's uh, partially in due to our materials and partially due to the cross panel sail design stitching. When you're riding this wing, it's super comfortable. Uh, it goes upwind really quite well, uh, and we also have these uh, hybrid carbon handles here, which are our proprietary design. Really cool, actually. The uh, inside of these handles is a honeycomb sort of structure of carbon wrapped in EVA foam. So you get something that's very light, very stiff, very strong. Torsionally, these things are really rigid, which is awesome and very comfortable. It's actually also really comfortable if you're wearing gloves, if you're in cold weather uh, and you're wearing gloves, it's a really like nice size to hook onto. So as far as materials for the XPS, we're running uh, with uh, the kind of most modern uh, Dacron uh, and also UPE, which on the front, uh, on the, well actually on the top of the sail here, gives you uh, really nice durability. The concept with this wing was to have the best blend of everyday usability, so performance, durability, uh, livability. That's kind of a core concept with everything at Armstrong, is it's high performance, but it's also meant to be used and uh, something you can actually live with. Very cool, and I was actually going to finish this video, but we have a quick little bonus section for you guys on a quite interesting kind of foil we're going to be talking about here for maybe another minute and a half. We have a shape here that when you walk past, you think like, what the heck is this and why would I write this? So, but there is a story behind it. What is going on with this uh, odd shaped foil? So this is our next generation pump foil. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this has no, yeah, you can't pump this. You can't pump this. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, so this is actually our Mike Murphy Carbon Pro 900. It's a bit of a mouthful, but this is actually a very cool foil. This is a modern retro foil that's designed really to learn to foil behind the boat. Uh, what it is actually, you can't really see on the camera too much, but you'll see it's quite thin. And this doesn't have a normal foil section, Mike. This actually doesn't have a section really at all. It's pretty much flat. So it doesn't generate any lift, which is great when you're learning because the way that you get it to lift you up is by actually leaning back very slightly. Okay. And then it starts to fly. Let me inter uh, interrupt you there real quick. Mike Murphy yeah. is the inventor of the air chair, where this whole thing stems from. Talk a little bit real quick about the connection that you get, guys have with this guy and how this came up. Yeah, so Mike Murphy is uh, Mike Murphy's a really cool guy. He's a really cool guy. He's been foiling probably longer than just about any other person alive. Um, and he's basically who got 
layered on a foil in some ways. Right. Uh, the, the original foils that Laird and Rush and Dave were all riding were actually basically air chairs that they converted. Yeah. Um, and so these guys were doing amazing stuff behind the boat before anybody heard of what a hydrofoil was. Um, and so our connection with Mike is that he came in, uh, you know, earlier on uh, in the history of Armstrong uh, and sort of in the wake market side of things with us, teamed up, uh, and he saw the potential to take what his knowledge and, you know, his decades of experience with hydrofoils was and to, you know, turn that into something that's a modern interpretation of what he has. And so this is uh, a very I mean, cool it's a foil. Thing. It's, it's a, it's a, first, if you look at the picture of it, you think it's a kind of like a stabilizer or something because if you don't have any kind of uh, reference point on how big it is, but of course, how nifty is it? So the most difficult part is when you start to learn how to foil is this thing wants to jump out of the water regardless of what you do. So for beginners, this got to be great. Yeah, this actually minimizes lift because when you're learning, you don't want to have tons of lift, right? You want just a little bit so you can get the feel of the foil. Yeah. And that's exactly what this foil does. So this is totally killer if you're trying to teach someone or learn behind the boat. But yeah, don't actually try to dock start it. Or maybe do, and then post yeah. a video. <laughs> Very cool, the Mike Murphy model. Thank you so much, Kiel. Very insightful, stoked to see you guys here in Europe and at the boat show. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming by the booth. Absolutely. Thanks so for watching. Aloha.